Welcome, little scientists. It's Miss Gisa. Today, we're going to learn about the life cycle of a beetle. The story is called, Are You a Beetle? It's written by Judy Allen and Fiona Osbaldstone. Are you a beetle? Perhaps you are a green tiger beetle. If you are, your full name is Six Spotted Green Tiger Beetle, although not all Six Spotted Green Tiger Beetles have exactly six spots. Your mother looks like this, and your father looks much the same. Your mother dug a narrow burrow with a special egg-laying tube at the back of her body. Then she laid an egg in it and covered the burrow entrance with earth. You were inside the egg. Your mother dug other burrows and laid other eggs. Your brothers and sisters were inside those eggs. When you hatch, you look a little bit like a tiny caterpillar. You are a larva. Work your way up to the surface. When you get there, you will have a little pile of earth on your head. This is annoying. Shake your head to throw off the earth. Your head is just the right size to fill the entrance to your burrow. When a passing ant or small spider is near enough, grab it, then drag your prey inside and eat it. You have handy hooks on your sides. Use these to hang onto the burrow walls. You may spend four years being a larva. Eat plenty and you will grow. As you grow, you will need to make your burrow wider. You have to peer out to spot your prey, but be careful. A bird or large beetle might pull you out, hooks and all, and eat you. Avoid that if you can. One day, you will feel a little strange. You are ready to become a pupa. Block the entrance to your burrow while something magical happens inside your pupa case. After a few weeks, Wriggle out. You are a beetle. Leave your burrow. Your wing cases will harden and your beautiful green color will appear when you are outside. Don't worry how many spots you have. They are on your wing cases, so you won't be able to see them anyway. If you see your reflection in a puddle, you will get a fright. You look very fierce. You are very fierce. You are a hunter. That's why you're called a tiger beetle. You eat caterpillars, insects, and spiders. You have big eyes to see your prey and six long legs on which to chase it. You are fast. When you run really fast, your vision can't keep up. Everything looks blurry. Stop for a moment to focus. Keep the antennae on the front of your head pointing forward to help you avoid bumping into things. When hunting for food, remember that you are food. Lots of creatures want to eat you. You can hide, you can run, you can attack. You can squirt a burning chemical out of your rear end, but there isn't much, so don't waste it. If something big, such as a lizard, is chasing you, fly. Open your wing cases and use the two pairs of delicate wings underneath to carry you to safety. There is another kind of danger, though. Birds and dragonflies like to eat you too, and you may not escape them by flying. It's not an easy life being a beetle. However, if you look at your reflection in a puddle and you look like this, or this, or this, you are not a six-spotted green tiger beetle. You are a human child. You may have good eyesight, but you don't have terrifying jaws. You may be able to run fast, but you don't have six legs, and you definitely don't have wings. Never mind, you can do a great many things a beetle can't do, such as dance, or play soccer, or read a book. Best of all, you will never, ever be eaten by a bird, a dragonfly, or a toad. Did you know Scientists are still discovering different species of beetle. Already there are more than 400,000 different named species. 
Over 2,600 of these are tiger beetles. Beetles are probably the most successful creatures on Earth. They hardly ever become extinct. Their hard wing cases protect their body and they can live in most habitats. There are ground beetles as well as beetles that live in trees, in houses, in deserts, in ponds, and in lakes. Ladybugs, fireflies, and lightning bugs are also beetles. Dung beetles are some of the strangest beetles. They eat animal poo and can roll balls of it for long distances. They either eat the dung later or use it as a good place in which to lay their eggs. I hope you learned some new things about beetles. Are you ready to do an activity with me? Let's go. All right, little scientists, let's review the life cycle of a beetle. And there are many different kinds of beetles. We did the life cycle of a ladybug, and a ladybug is considered a beetle earlier this year. If you haven't already watched that video, do so. But today we're going to go over the life cycle of a stag beetle. So, what do you think? Which one of these is the first stage of the life cycle of a stag beetle? Yes! Our life cycle starts with an egg. The stag beetle life cycle, like so many of the life cycles we've been studying, starts with an egg. Now, a female lies. Female stag beetles prepare the ground carefully by digging into the soil before laying 30 to 90 eggs right near rotting wood because that wood provides food once the eggs hatch. It takes about three weeks for the eggs to hatch. All right, next stage is the larva. Which one looks like the larva? You are correct. That is the larva of a stag beetle. The stag beetle larva can break from their egg by cutting the shell. Look at the shape of that. It's like a C. Then they, after they come out of their shell, they feed on the rotting logs where they hatch. It takes about two to seven years for them to mature. And during that time, they continue feeding on the decayed wood and become larger. The next stage is the pupa. That's this one. So once the larva reaches about three inches long, which is about as long as this looks, it prepares a safe spot in the ground for a cocoon. The cocoon undergoes a metamorphosis. Remember, we saw that with the ladybug and also with the butterfly. Then it leaves its cocoon, but it'll stay underground until the spring. And when it comes up from the ground, it is a full-sized stag beetle. Adult stag beetles begin looking for a mate, then they, as soon as the stag beetle comes up in the spring, it begins looking for a mate because it only lives for a few months. Adult stag beetles that are the males have big jaws and those are so that they can wrestle other stag beetles over food and territory. Female stag beetles spend most of their time searching for a place to lay their eggs, a nest. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.